Shootings on the freeway are more common now than ever before. And in Metro Detroit, half of them are the result of road rage. But road rage isn't just about shootings. It can include cursing and rude or obscene gestures, throwing objects, ramming or sideswiping, or forcing a driver off the road. Unfortunately, road rage deaths have spiked across the country throughout 2021, steadily rising month after month. Well, tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast dives into the issue to learn why this is happening. And what can be done to stop it. Brett? Well, Dave, we all know that driving Metro Detroit roads and freeways can be stressful and sometimes can lead to arguments, but now more than ever, those arguments are ending in gunfire. Put your gun down. Put your gun down. A simple road rage incident led to gunfire last fall in Dearborn. The single bullet leaving a hole in the driver's side door, barely missing a booty El Hadi. It was ready to shoot, like he just pulled it out and, and shot. El Hadi was driving when he saw another car driving recklessly. He decided to roll down his window and exchange a few words, not down. thinking it would lead to gunshots. What did I do to you to deserve to get shot? You know, like, okay, swear, throw fingers, this is normal things. But for you to raise a gun and shoot at people, this is not, this is not normal at all. El Hadi was lucky to escape without injury. Some road rage shootings have been fatal, including one this week in Troy, where a 55-year-old Detroit firefighter was shot and killed. We're actually getting in arguments and shooting each other over not using a turn signal. In his two decades with the Michigan State Police, Lieutenant Mike Shaw says he's never seen this level of violence on the roads. So far this year, state police have responded to 26 freeway shootings in Metro Detroit, four of them fatal and half of them road rage. This is a huge problem that we're seeing not only here in Detroit, uh, across the state of Michigan, but in our entire country. According to Everytown for Gun Safety, in the U.S. there have been nearly double the number of road rage deaths and injuries in 2021 compared to any other year on record, estimating that every 18 hours a person is either injured or killed in a road rage shooting. If current trends continue, 2021 is on track to be the deadliest on record in terms of road rage. In June, after two-year-old Bryson Christian was gunned down on I-75 in a non-road raid shooting, Detroit police announced Operation Bryson, working with other departments to increase patrols on freeways. But Lieutenant Shaw says law enforcement alone can't solve the problem. We need to get the community involved and finally get them tired of it, and we haven't reached that point yet. Lacking witness cooperation, Lieutenant Shaw says suspects have only been identified in less than half of the 26 freeway shootings this year. Last year, El Hadi's video led to the shooter being arrested but he says next time he'll avoid confrontation when behind the wheel. You see that gun, you run, <laughs> you don't take videos. And every town for gun safety is now projecting that this year will end with roughly 800 road rage shootings and roughly 500 people either killed or injured. Reporting live, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Yeah, certainly getting crazier and crazier. Thank you so much, Brett. For more on how the pandemic could be impacting roadway safety and what to do if you are a victim of road rage, head to our website at WXYZ.com.